Hi, okay. This news is totally personal. Alright, so. I thought that when I wasn't able to get online for a couple of days, I... It was just like, um, I was sure that people were going to lose interest or, you know, I don't know. But the opposite happened. Somehow I gained five followers on Twitter. So now I have 20 and I have 12 um, watchers, subscribers on YouTube. So, um, it's great. Um, okay. Um. Another thing is, like I said before, um, I'm going to do movies from time to time, my reviews of movies. I've done this before, but I'm going to do other movies I haven't done before. Or I'm going to try to do different movies that I haven't done before, so I don't repeat myself. Um, all right. There's one movie that I've seen a couple times, and my barometer of if a movie is good or not is if I watch it more more than twice and if i see something different that i didn't see the first time um okay so one of those movies or the movie is the vow i mean it stars channing tatum and rachel mcadams which channing tatum if you don't know was married to jenna dewan for a long time they started the movie step up together um and rachel mcadams was most famous i i would say for um either mean girls she was in that and or the notebook with uh ryan gosling and a little fun fact or something um is when ryan gosling and rachel mcadams started in the notebook they literally hated each other and then they fell in love and they were together for a couple of years, and then they broke up. I don't know what happened there, but, um, all right. So, anyway, this movie is based on a book. And I had the book before, and I read it a couple times, and then I let it go to someone else. Because I had gotten everything I wanted out of it. So, it's based on a true story about a couple who gets into a car accident, and, um... The, the woman, the wife, loses her memory completely, and or certain parts of it. Like, up until her past, her childhood and stuff, she had. But she didn't remember marrying, meeting and marrying her husband. That whole part of it was gone. Um, she remembered her family members, friends, old friends, but anything new, she forgot. Um... And, and also, like, a spoiler alert, I guess, um, is she never regained her memory. But the good thing is her husband and her fell back in love and remarried. Now, in the movie, and I, I think it happened in real life, too. Um, apparently, the, well, the way they wrote the movie was that the parents of the woman did not like her husband at all. And her her family was the kind where her mother and father had expectations for her already. And if she veered off of that at all, they considered a disgrace and whatever. So part of it was they didn't like the husband because they never met him. But then when they meet the husband after he's been in the car, they were in the car wreck. And also, I have to say, the couple, both of them were in the car wreck, and the husband didn't suffer anything. Um, but the wife was the one who did. Okay, so, in the book, their names are Cricket and something else. And in the movie, they're Leo and Paige. Okay, so... Paige is the one who loses her memory. And also, um, so then Paige's family meets her husband. And when they get to the, what what do you do for a job? And he says what he does, which is a record producer. They don't like the answer. 
they wanted her to be with someone more upstanding, I would assume. But, oh, and then also the ex-boyfriend who she was with before she got married um, was played by Scott Speedman, who was in uh, Felicity, and I covered that in an earlier video. But he played Ben Covington on Felicity. Um, okay. So, um, you know, the, the her family has uh, ideas about how they want her to recover and what they should do. Well, then Leo listens to the doctor, and the doctor says, um, you know, she needs to be around familiar things, familiar people, the whole thing. So then she goes back home with him, and it doesn't work out at first because he wants her to remember everything. And she's just trying to get a grip on her life and come to the reality and, and the, you know, the, the new adjustment of what her life is at this point. So those two clash. And then also with the familiar pressure her father says, maybe it's best you get a divorce. So Leo, um, Channing Tatum does the best thing he thinks he can do and divorces her. But then he regrets it because, you know, he felt like he gave up on her. But he really didn't. Um, and then um, it takes a while. She recovers some stuff, but she never recovers him, the memories of him. But she realized through the stuff, through everything she goes through, that you have to do for yourself and, like, make your own decisions. And so um, she moves out of the house again of her family, moves up to where Leo lives, and they, you can tell, they kind of fall in love again. And um, because she asked him on a date to go to a coffee shop or something, but they decide to go to a new coffee shop. So anyway, they start falling in love again. And also, it's the end of the movie. And so they say that the real people, it was uh, based on, you know, she never regained her memory, but they fell in love and they have two kids now. Well, as of the filming of that. So, it just goes to show that, I guess, well, not I guess, but true love does exist. And you have to believe it more than anybody else and not be derailed by what people tell you. You kind of have to, I'd say, take it under advisement and then make your own decision on that. So... That's a little review of the movie called The Vow. Um, like I said, if you're into romantic comedy drama, you might want to check it out. It's really good, in my opinion. All right. I guess.